with our halftime report. TK, who are the women that we should be watching this summer? Well, as you know, the 2012 Olympics is coming up in London. Mm -hmm. My number one favorite, because I got to interview her, Carmelita Jenner, 100 oh, yeah. meter, Good. 100 wow. meter runner. She won uh, the world uh, the world championships last year in the 100 meters, and she's the fastest woman in the world. She yeah. is the Go second Carmelita. ever yeah. to Flojo. So, wow. I mean, she's definitely one to watch you in the one You just gotta get her some nails. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't blink while you're watching, because that girl is fast. Yes. She ran wow. something like 10 seconds. 10.64. Like 30 something, right? 32 years wow. old. Wow. So, Which I mean. Is young. Uh, in, 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 in the sprint world, I mean, there's girls coming up for the US, there's girls right. coming up from the, for Jamaica. Okay. In sprints, the one, two, and four, those are the two countries that you have to watch. Wow. Okay. And the next US sprinters, oh, Allison Felix. Allison, yeah. yes. So sweet. Yes. She's so 200 meters, she's going to run for sure. I spoke to her. She wasn't quite sure she's going to run the 400 meters. Mm -hmm. But if she does, try, she tried to do the 2-4 combo in the World Championships. Didn't quite make it. Oh. Um, the last person to do it, the 2-4, is Michael Johnson, the 1996 Olympics Ooh. in Atlanta. TK, is she small? Cause she, she, yeah. She's small. She's tiny. Um, she has a 400 meter build, but she runs the 200 meters. 200 meter girls are more like Carmelia Jenner, a little bit more stocky, more muscle. Mm -hmm. It's When you see her, you, you when it... If you didn't know who she was, you just think she's just a regular girl. She seems girl. like wow. such yeah. a wonderful young lady. Very, I saw an article about her. She seems very grounded. Yeah, very sweet girl. Next girl, Ronda Rousey. Have you guys heard about her? Judo. Yes. Yes. Ronda oh, got I a have. bad stomach, okay? Yes. <laughs> Ronda looks good. Yes. She is the Don't number mess with her. No. Number one MMA fighter, pound for pound. Wow. Um, I don't know if you guys got to see her fight. I got to see her um, fight against Michelle Tate. Arm bars, she usually finishes all girls off in the first round. Yeah, she's amazing. Yes. You can she be my friend? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like ballet when she does it. Yeah, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Her next fight's going to be um, August 18th, so definitely a one to watch. She's going to be uh, fighting Sarah Kaufman. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's going to be an interesting fight, but it's also going to be, you know, it's almost not like, I don't want to compare it to Mayweather, but she's, you know, she's just really killing the scene. And she's, she's feminine, though. She's, I, I mean, she's beautiful. Yes. They, they have another girl by the name of Chris Cyborg, not so much. She's, you know, she's not necessarily on the prettier side, so they're actually really gravitating to um, Ronda Rousey as All far as the... All women are beautiful, well, TK. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's some, it's sometimes it's God spent a little more time on others than, you it know. It shouldn't matter, though. It matters right. because to fight, you have to have yes. be so trained and you have to be precise. Right. And nobody cares about what Pacquiao looks like. Right. However, you have to remember, <laughs> you have to remember this in, in, unfortunately, with women's sports, it's, you know, the, the more times, if you are better looking than others, you will you will make more well, money. Well, now there's more women coming out, so that's going to be changed, and it's just going to be on who you are and your skills. Hopefully, I don't <laughs> I don't I don't agree with that. We'll you know see. who I want you to talk about? Mm. Cheyenne Woods. Yes, Tiger Woods' niece. Wow. She mm -hmm. is up and coming. She just uh, turned pro this year. Um, it's in, know, it's, it's in the genes. It's in the genes. Hopefully, so we'll definitely okay. see what's going to happen with her. I mean, it's fairly new, so we, we you know. You know, okay. it's it's who who who's to say what's going to happen? Okay. Now I want you to talk about Dora Torres. She's D Dora Torres. She's special to me because we're the same age. Amazing <laughs> story. She um, is forty five years old. Mm -hmm. She yes. is going for the Olympics. Yes. She has been um, been in the Olympics since nineteen eighty four. That's a I think long I've read time. something like long twelve time. times. Yes. And four golds, four silvers, four bronze. I mean, she is just. Yeah. From the gamut. And it's not like, you know, she's she's kind of on the, she's trying it because she's good at it and she might not make it. She's legit. So, you know, you have to watch out for her for winning some medals um, as well See? this Olympics. She's too legit to quit. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's great saying. longevity. Yeah. And another person to watch out for, she's actually a Pasadena resident oh, or okay. a pa born in Pasadena, if I can get my notes here, um, Missy Franklin. Okay. She is 17 years old. She has, um, she's gonna, she's a swimmer. Yes. And she's actually gonna be competing in the Olympics. Well, gonna be attempting to compete in the Olympics. A lot of the sports now, they're actually going through their trials, so track and field, basketball, badminton, etc. Right. So you're gonna watch out for her. But okay. you know what I found really interesting? She's a Pasadena resident, native California. You know so. what I also found very interesting? She has got size 13 feet. So she always said her mama said she had built-in <laughs> flippers. I mean, talk about can she, difficulty. Can she go to Nordstrom's shopping. and find shoes? Uh, uh, big and tall. <laughs> no, 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 she's a swimmer. It doesn't even need those shoes. Oh, my gosh. We cannot forget about Venus. 
Oh, how's no. Venus? Speaking of shoes. Yes. Right. <laughs> Venus Williams has been doing really, really well. Right. Okay. Um, 2011, there was, you know, the illness. She got sick. She had to take some time out. Mm -hmm. She came out this year banging. So we'll definitely see if her and her sister are going to be doing the Olympics this year. Again, you know, but it's kind of uh, trials time, so we don't know who's actually going to the Olympics for sure just yet. I mean, it's a little bit of a tough call, though. She went from number one to now number 47 this year. Number 47? Number 47. Oh, I mean, that's got to be a tough one to get Yes, yes and no. If you, like with the tennis competitions, it's it's so, you know, depending on what competition yeah. you, you kind of go up and do down. Ranking thing. Yeah, the ranking is very, um, I don't want to say subjective, but she's definitely possible. And you're talking about as far as uh, tennis and then competing mm -hmm. for the Olympics are two, almost two different things. So okay. she can definitely be 47th as far as tennis concerned, but also compete for the and U.S. And there was also some gold. questions going on with the judging, too. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another person to watch, um, if we're staying almost to the Olympics theme, for the WNBA, um, the Sparks has an amazing yes. team this year. Yeah. There's a couple they people do. I want to highlight. First, Candace Parker is going to the Olympics for she the team. She is. Okay. Yeah, she's going to be competing yeah, for the, for the <laughs> yeah. U.S. Um, if you guys know about a little bit about Candace, uh, she was uh, number one draft pick draft pick second person in the WNBA to do it uh, to complete a dunk mm -hmm. first one was Lisa Leslie yes and um, you know she's had some injuries so the Sparks have kind of, have kind of been going into you know they get great teams and then you know injury happens mm -hmm. and they don't quite make yeah. the cut so hopefully the, the season's gonna be extended now so the WNBA is gonna take a break for the Olympics their players are gonna compete in the Olympics and then some will stay here and actually, okay. you know, continue oh. practicing. And who's the other one? The other one is Nikkei Oge Oge Ogemike. Okay. She was a Stanford player, number one draft pick, also in the Sparks. Okay. Amazing person, amazing LA. personality. And um, L.A. is stacked. They yeah, have Atlanta Bears. Yeah. Duncan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kings, I mean, we're doing it. They Silver's have, gold. Yeah. So they have Atlanta Bear, Christy, um, Christy Tolliver. I mean, the, the team is just stacked this mm -hmm. year. And the WNBA is really coming up with um, their players and everything wow. else. TK, thank you here. for that report. We're going to be watching that. Stay tuned. You're watching Everyday Woman.